heat wave is not going to return. Temperatures will be significantly lower than they have been. There will be some rain at times, probably not the widespread rain we could really do with. Some spells of sunshine as well, but at least it's going to start to feel a bit cooler. Today at six, by night and now by day, UK temperature records tumble in the heatwave. London Fire Brigade declares a major incident after several heatwave-linked fires break out across the capital. A number of the calls that we've been dealing with today have, uh, have been wildfires or grass fires in particular, where the ground has been tinderbox dry as a result of the weather that we've experienced. Scotland sees a new temperature record, 34.8 degrees centigrade, and in all, 29 places across England have broken the previous UK record. With soaring temperatures comes travel disruption. Major stations have been shut down and several lines suspended. We'll be finding out how people have been coping, also on the programme. Public sector pay awards have been announced, rises for NHS staff and other public sector workers, but unions say it's not enough to cope with inflation. Three left in the race to be the next Prime Minister after Kemi Badenoch fails to make the cut in the latest round of Tory MPs' votes. And coming up on the BBC News Channel, the temperatures rising for the Euros' favourites. The Lionesses might have beaten the heat by tomorrow, but can they overcome Spain to make the semi-finals? Hello and welcome to the BBC's News at Six. The predictions were spot on. This has been the hottest day recorded in the UK. In Coningsby in Lincolnshire, the thermometer hit 40.3 degrees centigrade. In fact, 29 places across England have broken the old record, which was 38.7 degrees. Scotland has experienced its hottest day on record, with the temperature reaching 34.8 degrees centigrade in Charter Hall in the Scottish borders. And it's not